excited about Christmas. Christmas is just around the corner. I think we are a few days more to Christmas, and I hope that Santa Claus will be visiting your home soon. But for us here at Orca Deco, we are enjoying Christmas already. You can see our set looks like Christmas is happening now. And you can come through Orca Deco if you haven't yet to get some stuff for Christmas. They have new arrivals just for Christmas, and Orca Deco is located on the Spinkers Road close to Flowerport. And you come by for great discount. This is the G spot with me, Miss G. And uh, I'm sure you're familiar with the saying that sex sells. I've heard that too many times. Like when you have a song and then you say, ah, why this lyrics? It says, oh, t listen, people love that part of it. I've seen many videos that you know, have some sex connotation and people say that's the video that is getting all the clicks on YouTube and all that. So sex sells, they say. I don't know if you believe in that theory. Well, it's practical though. Mm -hmm. you, you check the numbers. It actually tells that people are buying sex. But there are people whose business is to get you to like stuff. I don't know if they sell sex to you. I have in here to discuss with me. I, I'm very careful because I don't want them thinking that I'm saying it, but they will get to tell us and you will get to decide if truly what they sell to you is anything that has something to do with sex. Sister Ifia, her back is JJ, her front is JJ. I don't know what that means. I don't know how you understand that. But somebody says that it's taking your, your mind somewhere. But Sister Fia is a musician. Uh, she has great tunes. Now she's Queen Solomon. If you haven't heard that, then you're hearing now that this is Queen Solomon. And she has released an album titled Queen Solomon. So now she's our Queen Solomon. And also Nina Ricci, who is always in the news because of her front. <laughs> so her front, I don't know about the back, but I know that the front causes a lot of problem on social media on television and i don't know about radio as well but these two people think have something that takes your mind to sex you're welcome thank you thank you um <laughs> um your front is jj all, all the JJ. time. Back to uh, oh, okay, yeah. Look at the shape in the chair. <laughs> oh, two of you. Okay, so your front and your back, JJ. And Nina exactly. is a musician. She signed to Black Avenue yes. Music, and uh, she's been in the news ever since she got back this time around. Yeah. For, you're back for Christmas, right? I'll be here for a while. You'll be here for a while, mm -hmm. um, and then I'm sure that your front is causing a lot of confusion. Yeah, apparently, yeah. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. <laughs> You didn't know. I didn't know. This is yeah, she's she's suffering for something that you suffered from initially yes, when you came, you know. <laughs> what is that? You know, when, when you're the talk of town because uh, you're exposing. Yeah. You know. But you like it's to cool. expose. It's who I am, it's what I do. Is it because yeah. you also believe in the notion that it sells? It gets you the eyeballs, you get attention. I mean, part of that, yes, but part of it is myself. It's who I am. That's my personality. It's how I like to dress. Mm -hmm. I don't I'm not someone who likes to be covered up. Oh, really? Like, uh, no. Why? I'm comfortable with my skin. I feel confident in how I look. Mm. You want the whole world to see it? Why not? <laughs> Sister, if yeah. That's sex sell. Of course it does, you know. Ah. You said it. People like it, right? Mm -hmm. so you don't tell us that people like it. Yes, it, it does sell. Obviously, it's, it's, um, I think um, it's something that actually sells a lot mm -hmm. in really? the industry. Yeah, because obviously, like, people want to see it. It sounds like they are all oh, back. Now can it be real? Now one do people or person who is money. So I na adi na koye. Oh, o person who talk. Adi o person who like o person who can watch the movie. Oh, pepe. Oh, pepe. Na you know you know you like you know. This this British girl that likes you like this. I don't know. Eh, sister, yeah. Yes. British girl. Eh, I didn't do this. Like they, actually, remember they don't want the sexy things. Yeah, even the way. Come on, guys, guys, me show me one, one, one. Hey, I think the camera guys are looking at me. That's crazy. Really? I mean, you know what? Uh -huh. I'm used to it. You're, you're used to people looking yeah. at your boobs. Even yeah. if I'm even covered up, like, exactly. completely, it's still there. So what can I do? Mm. So have you deliberately, because yes. you know the sex sells yeah. to you, have you de deliberately put that in your songs? Like, you see my front, JJ, and then the front is the boobs, the back is the, the behind. You know, Obviously, yeah. is that deliberate? Because you know that it will sell. 
you yeah, want to feed people basically, with that. yeah, because uh, I need money, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> straight up, <laughs> <laughs> I need money, and obviously, if I know something like that is going to sell, why don't I just go for it? Yeah, and she says that's what it's people easier. want. Exactly. It's, it's easier. I guess so. That's what people want. You also believe that that's what people want. Why not? Is that what you want to hear? But me, me, no, me, if I'm doing sex sell now, nah, me de nyansa kwanso to muka. What was the nyansa kwanso in this one? Oh, we. The one you say, my back, my phone, JJ, okay. is that the Inyansa Kwansu? Eh, too. I'm, I'm a girl with him, baby. You see my back, JJ. You see my phone, JJ. Well, you see everything, JJ. Oh, JJ. Sense. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, she said, yeah, that's it's, it's, come, it's called like. <laughs> Yeah, she's not doing it directly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to think about but what she's saying. Have you seen the video of that song? I have, of course. And so, what does? Well, how different is the video? I mean, you know, it's very sexy. Uh huh. <laughs> you just said it's very sexy. You know, but she says that that's what people want. Do you yeah. think that that's what people want as well? I think so. If I did a music video with me just sitting down like this, covered up, who's gonna watch me? Nobody. Nobody will watch me. They want to see what talks. They want to see, you know, breasts. They want to see everything. So, you but you have them. to give it to them in a way where it's still, like, it's, it's tasteful. It's not like, boom. But these days, you think we do it tastefully? I do it tastefully, yeah. I saw you at, um, <laughs> it's a DJ Men's yeah, all-white well. party. To be honest, uh -huh. I didn't have anything else to wear but that. So. And was that tastefully done? That's how I dress, so it's tastefully done. At least today, no, <laughs> it's okay. okay. Yeah, that was TV club, so. and tea. <laughs> but it was camera on her. But did you see what people was wearing? Well, I don't know them. I That's know the thing. Her. It's A lot because of people was wearing crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. I was there. So. Mm -hmm. Did you also wear something similar to hers? No, I was like in a uh, long sleeve white and. Why? Because that's what I had. Uh, now it's what you had, eh? Because mm. <laughs> white is very, very. Uh, it's, yeah, idea yeah, 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 they believe that sex sells, but they say we should do it tastefully. Mm -hmm. That argument is one that we are going to have when we are doing the battle of the sexes because many people think that we are not doing it tastefully. And many people think that the next generation will suffer if we do not take care in the way we are handling yeah. sex stuff. The men will join us now, and when they are done, we have the battle of the sexes. Just too much. <laughs> it's just too much. It's just too much. But I, I, I think sadly mm -hmm. it's true that sex sells and um, it has gotten to a point, I agree with David, has gotten to a point that we don't allow our imagination to run wild. It's nothing new. Mm. I mean, we've, we've used um, sex to sell, you know, for, for decades. Right. Ghanaians have, uh, Ghanaian ladies have beautiful bodies and they are Better Maybe ways, that's in quote, exposing them. that's my point, in quote, <laughs> better ways to show your body off. Let, let us imagine what's, what's under there, you know, so that, so that we'll, be, we'll be salivating. And... Alright, so welcome back to the G-Spot here on Joy Prime and we're coming to you from the premises of Oka Deco on the Spinkers Road, room furniture, office furniture, furniture for your dining. You need to come through Oka Deco to get all of those, including your kitchen wares, sports, deco and more. Come by Oka Deco close to Flowerport on the Spinkers Road and definitely you will have your taste because they want to make beautiful memories with you. Our makeup was done by S. Nash. Their number is on the screen. You can reach out to them and my costume is by Buama Couture. Her number also is on your screen. The hair is by Harris Professional. Her number is this on the screen as well. So if you just join in, then you've missed a great deal because the ladies have been here. We've been talking about the notion that sex sells. And in this industry, we are creative people. We need to create something that will catch your attention, that will get you wondering like, wow, and captivate you so that you watch 
over and over again, the ladies have made their points. The men are here now. And I have David Bolton. A lot of people call him DK Beam. He's a musician, producer, and he has a new one out. Seven minus six, once a year. Is Seven it? minus six, year one. Year, year one? Uh -huh. Okay, that's, that's a good. long title. I, could, I knew I would remember <laughs> that. Seven minus six, year one is a new one out there you need to listen to it i listen to it and uh, i think it's a sweet beautiful song these are men from back in the day they have got the experience you know <laughs> yeah. their touch is Mwah. and then i've got one young talent as well creamy and you know why i like him because bright likes him bright says ah. he's a junior version of him and i'm <laughs> yeah. talking about bright of bookback fame that's a huge title to get I you know, know i know i you know. know i heard it on radio yeah and my friends were like are you sure you can man up? You see that, that thing? That's a huge crown he's placed on your head. I know, I know. So these I men will be talking it. to us about, you know, the notion that sex sells. Uh, you are an old dog that, that oh doesn't God. need to be treat, uh, taught new tricks. Yeah. You? You can always learn something new, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you've learned anything new? Today I've learned a lot. Oh. Yes, yes. I'm sure yes. that when you went back, uh, before you got back here, you've seen a lot of stuff from us and mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. asking, what are we selling these days? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, look, it, it's, nothing, it's nothing new. Mm. I mean, we've, we've used um, sex to sell, you know, for, for decades. It's just that um, it's become more and more vivid and yeah. open. Yeah. You see the thing where before it was... If you look at back in the day with Daddy Lumba and mm -hmm. so on, it was more innuendo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and you, you, you cast, you know, you, you, you have to think a little bit. You know what he's saying, but he's not actually saying it. Yeah. But now it's like, oh, just let everything hang out and, you know, say it because people, people want that. You know, that, that's, that's, that's what's happening these days. And yeah. you think it's the, it's the right way to go? I personally don't. I personally don't. I think that it's good, as a man, it's good to leave something to the imagination. You see, because if you've shown me everything you have mm -hmm. before <laughs> the do is done, mm -hmm. there's like, uh, there's, you know, there's no excitement. So sometimes um, I think um, you, you've got to be creative with it, be a bit more creative. And, um, you know, let, let us imagine what's, what's under there. You know, so that sort of will be will be salivating and and, and, you know, and waiting to see. Exactly, Kiri, yeah. you yeah. are young. You know, a lot of things happening around you. Know, Social media age. You know, where you know <laughs> everything it's is just there. too much. Sometimes <laughs> it's just too much. It's just too much. But I I, I think sadly mm -hmm. it's true that sex sells, and um, it has gotten to a point. I agree with David. Has gotten to a point that we don't allow our imagination to run wild. We just put it out there. Now, one thing about creativity is that. Um, it should allow you to think about it even when it's done, to still keep it in mind, to play it over and over again. Uh, if, if you listen to some of the old songs, and I'm saying old songs because I feel that their lyrics would make you create stories in your head. Mm. You get it? Even if it's about sex. Even if it's about sex. There I go, there I go. Pretty baby, you're the soul that snaps my control. Makes you think about a lot of things even if it's about sex, but now we're just putting everything out there. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel that if, if we make that the target, it means we are losing our gifts. I said, we don't believe in what music we have or what talent we have. We have to sell something else, and that's sex with music. And I feel we are getting that part wrong. But it, could it also be that we have copied blindly because maybe that's what is happening in the West and you know they say the best comes from there so you want to just be like them so let's <laughs> copy and forget what we have, our culture mm -hmm, and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah absolutely, um, we've, we've, um, we've become too westernized, that's true. You know we've, we've lost a lot of our cultural values. I know it sounds cliche but mm -hmm. it's, it's true. You know th th there's a beauty about the Ghanaian culture. Right, and um, you know, if, even if you look at issues such as the puberty rights, the way it's handled, you see the thing, it's fine, there's, there's nudity and all of that, but it's, it has, um, there's a thought process mm -hmm. and there's a meaning, a cultural meaning, and they're trying to um, educate the, the young ladies on how they are supposed to comport themselves you know, as they enter adulthood. So I think it's, it's, it's something that's lost and we, I don't know how we're going to get it back because mm. it's like we've let the floodgates does it, open. Does it look like we'll ever get it back? Do you think there are going to be days where we can go back and start singing 
to 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 this point where people would now be thinking, okay, is he trying to say this? Is he trying yeah. to say that? Mm -hmm. I don't think we'll get back there. Do you think we'll getting get back? that back? I think there's some level of edginess that we have to get. We have to understand how to get to the edge, but not cross over. Mm. That's the thing. I think that's where we we need to get our stuff right. Um, right, Ghanaians have uh, Ghanaian ladies have beautiful bodies, and they are. Better Maybe ways that's in quote, them. That's my point. In quote, <laughs> better ways to show your body off. As you are sitting there, you are looking very beautiful. Mm -hmm. You get it. But you are not exposed. But you are still looking very beautiful. And trust me, somebody is out there somewhere saying, wow, she's sexy. Mm. And but it, yeah. well, maybe sexy has been redefined, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, it has it has that thing mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. it has that thing too. Maybe yeah. has been redefined. Yeah. But now I, I think that the ladies will have to join us because I want us to have a, a debate, uh, a battle of words, ideas, and thoughts mm -hmm. about this. Sex sells, they say. To some extent, you know, it's sad for people like Premi. David says, well, you know, unfortunately, it does. But how professional are our professionals these days? Yeah, that's. You know, they have to do it tastefully, like yeah. they used earlier. So the ladies will join us, and now we'll have the battle of the sexes here on the G Sport. They are topless. Few. Like, well, topless. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, exactly. and they are, they are six packs are showing <laughs> everywhere. But they don't show their yeah. their thing. But we may do they, show. They, what they are you do sometimes you with don't their see boxes. They wear uh, showy. No, no, not even that. When they go to the gym, uh -huh. they wear these jogging pants. Exactly. And, and they're drawing the in the <laughs> <laughs> kind of no, 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 no. Okay, no. Nina is taking it different. So, no. Nina is taking it different. Am I wrong? Okay. See, it's true, baby. See, the sweatpants <laughs> is different. It's for Excuse exercise. favorite part of the G sport the battle of the sexes we are discussing the notion that sex sells how true is it and are these folks here selling their music through sex does it make sense or well I, I'm not sure they will agree that they are but I'll ask each and every one of them and some of them dare not say it's not true but uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the discussion because I have Sister Fia Queen Solomon in the house and Madame Jeje, now Queen Solomon. Then I have Creamy, Mr. Dede. I don't know what Dede <laughs> did to him, but he has a song titled Dede. Then Nina Ricci, the lady who is always causing controversy because she likes to show her body and she's a signee of Black <laughs> Avenue Music and she's going to be here a while. So, you know, what's, what's, what's the track that we should look out for? I have a new one coming. It's mm -hmm. called Fire. Hey. Fire indeed. Yeah, so you, exactly. <laughs> fire so. indeed. There's fire in the girl herself. Then she's bringing us fire. We can't wait for double fire. And also David Bolton, who has seven minus six a day. A year. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This title there. Seven, seven minus, minus six. six year one. Year one. Hey. <laughs> Only this title. I don't know why. I, I just keep forgetting. Seven minus six, year one is the latest from David Bolton. You need to listen to that. You're welcome once more. Thank you. All right, so do you think that you sell sex through your music? Oh, my God. Yes, of course, sometimes. But in, uh, yes, of course, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> not definite. It, it's not all the time, though. It's just... Which some, of your songs do you think that you never saw sex through? I Championata, I have um, Are You Ready, I have um, Coppola. Are you ready? Soba worry me, Anna. That is not... It's, it, ah. But what That's is an it? advice. That's trying to advise people who are trying to get into marriage and if you love somebody, how are you going to treat somebody? That's not sex. The only mind. sex song I've actually done is like, it's like that kind of just see my back, J -J, and Slay Queen, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Creamy. Oh, uh, I would say that when you listen to Diddy, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's actually not a sex song. Uh, there are there are times in the yeah, video. Yeah, the lyrics there that. Mood, yeah, yeah. Anyway, and but there are times in the video that uh, you see a kissing scene, but I don't think it's mm. it's it's selling a sex song. Really? Yeah. Hmm. As for you, yeah, I won't ask you that because there's no need to ask you because the answer is obvious. Yes. <laughs> Let me help you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have one called my baby. That uh, one there. Uh, Actually. Yeah, it is. You okay. see, all of them, yes. <laughs> all of them, yes. And David, um, 
Well, in my video, there's actually a sex scene. Oh! Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's tastefully done, <laughs> under some red satin sheets. You know, so okay. it's it's tastefully done. You just you just see the bodies moving, but you don't see the you know action. Okay. The real thing. So <laughs> now to the real question: mm -hmm. Wouldn't your song sell, or wouldn't he get attention if he didn't put that scene in? It would, but then you see that I was trying to. You see the lyrics of the song. Mm -hmm. You know, it is talking about um, a guy who has basically gone and cheated and messed around with all sorts of women, mm -hmm. and now he's realised that it's time to come home. So he wants to go back to his girlfriend and stay with her or his wife and, and recommit. So, so you think that you needed to have placed that scene in the way you did it? Well, it could have done without it. You know, you know what I'm asking? My attention was drawn to the fact that mm -hmm. back in the day with, for instance, Inspector Bidiaco, yeah. you, you, when you watch Inspector Bidiaco, mm -hmm. you watch all the Akan drama, yeah. they had a way of doing their sex scenes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. my attention was drawn to the fact that all you see was that the bra will be put behind the door. Mm -hmm. You don't it, even yeah. see yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they yeah. close the door, they shut the yeah. door. And you know that something is going to happen. But these days, I will have a small child walk up to me and say, ah, that thing in. So for instance, let me use you because you're here. If you see my back, JJ, if you see my, she would ask me, what does that mean? How do I explain to stay here? No, you're just trying, you explain to the person that you have to feel confident mm. in yourself. When you look at your body, just tell yourself, yeah, I'm JJ. That's so just I confidentiality. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I look so then this small girl goes somewhere and says, come and sing a song. Because you told her yes. that it's, for conf uh, it's to make you feel confident. Yes. Yeah. So you see my bag, JJ? Kids sing it all the time. Even and you're proud? Yeah. Yes. Why wouldn't I be? That's I music. sang the song. That's my song. <laughs> so if kids, and I sang the song with pure love and pure um, good... Um, but you just told me that... It it's confidentiality. It's basically... Yeah. Um, you, 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 told, you just told me that, you know, that's one of your songs that you can say that... Of course, it has... Of course, sex sells in there, obviously, but at the end of the day, it's still confi um, confidentiality. You're still confident saying, oh yeah, my front is JJ, my back is JJ, my face is JJ, everything is JJ. And because I brought even that song out, a lot of people have been using the JJ for different exactly. types of songs. Yeah. So it's for true. it to actually go to that extent, I'm really proud of myself, why would I be? And if that's the reason, if, if sex sells and that's, um, that's the kind of thing, I'm go I'm go I'll do it all the time. Hey! Ah, but what? <laughs> yeah, but you, do, would, you, would you be excited before I come to both of you would you be excited if your, your young daughter, daughter walks up to you and is singing that song well thank you? god I don't have any daughters uh -huh. um, <laughs> my, my sons uh -huh. um, you know the, I, I understand where, where she's coming from because it's, it's about confidence mm -hmm. so if, if you see me I'm looking good you see mm, the thing? so you don't amazing. necessarily have to you know, bring it towards the fact that if you see my back does what, it have? To, does it have to have to be my my? But is, is, so, for instance, your son. Mm -hmm. What is that? His back. Uh, he's got shoulders. He's got, <laughs> you know, he's got, he's got, got black bones. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's at his back? You know, it, it, and I'm asking because when I was young, at that time, uh, all the boys they were fighting over me. Yes. Mm -hmm. My dad shut me up one time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like he said, don't sing this song anytime you're close to me. So I became conscious. Maybe. I was thinking that it was just, what, uh, you know. Yeah. So for you, with the trend you're taking now, mm -hmm. would you be excited in a few years when your children begin to, you know, I mean, say, I, I, I love my buddy and I want to show my buddy and da 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 da, da and they're singing songs that, you know, would you be proud? If, if it's not me, somebody else would show them. So it's like they're already into the world. They see it. It's, I, can't, I can't prevent that from happening. So why not just join it? I so know. you'll be excited? I'll be okay with it. You'll be okay with it? Yeah. Your children come dressed like the way it's you would It's cool. Dress. Oh, really? It's cool. My mom let me dress like this when I was young, to be honest. So, it's cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and Creamy says, wow. Even Creamy yeah, says, wow. Yeah. Okay. My mom got me some sexy underwear mm. when I was 12 years old. So, shout out to my mom. She, you know what? My mom is just, she's not trying to hide anything from me. She was just trying to show that, like, be yourself. If you want to be who you are, just be you. Like, I'm going to see it eventually anyway, so might as well just know from now. So, shout out to my mom. Hey, wow. shout out to your mom. <laughs> Creamy. You, shout out to your mom. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to your mom. <laughs> your, mom, your mom brought you up, not here. Exactly. But, and but she, did, she, did she, you know, live here? She did. She did. But the same way is like she, obviously she's a Ghanaian mother. Like, mm -hmm. there's, there's obviously... Um, 
you know, Audrey. rules and like she's strict. But however, she's seen the, that side of the world, and it's like I can't hide you from that, you know. So I grew up at a really young age, you know. So yeah. But I'm sure you've heard people say this is not us. I'm sure, yeah. But you know what? It's okay because it, you guys see it on TV. You guys watch Nicki Minaj. And so I'm going to be the Nicki Minaj here. Why not? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Creamy. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I appreciate her for um, her playing this. But uh, on the flip side, I feel that um, sometimes when, when there's, a, there's a notion or there's a saying that when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do. Mm -hmm. You might be free and, you know, some of us might appreciate that. But a large number of Ghanaians or Africans, not just Ghanaians, Africans feel that um, there are certain level of cultural uh, notion that we always keep. And then um, you, might, you might be very edgy, which is super dope and sexy, but find a good way to keep the edginess there. Yeah, because um, when, 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 you, when, you when you flip through the, the internet, there are a lot of things you see that it's not done here. And yes, we understand they have their stuff and the way they do their things and we appreciate them trust me no guy in this room can tell me that they've not seen some of these scenes and when we see them we appreciate them but when when it's here we start talking about them so is it hypocrisy in 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 a way i can say that it is because we don't want our people to be doing that but you guys uh, are doing it that's my point. That's my point. But, but people it, are not excited about it. That's my point. A lot of people are complaining. Have you seen the number of you know trolls you've had after? Of course. You know, yeah. So it tells you that Ghanaians don't really like it. They'll but it, it, it's they coming like here it. slowly. I, every if I even go to Bush Canteen to eat food, I see girls wearing short short dresses to eat for four, and I'm like, ah. So when I wear this, you guys <laughs> want to talk about me? <laughs> but you guys be wearing. You know what I'm saying? It's coming here slowly. I think it's um, the internet. You guys, yeah. we're getting more internet here. Yeah. You know, before we were um, accessible to things, mm -hmm. and over here we weren't. But now things are coming here. So we're going to see these things eventually more. Maybe next 10 years, everyone's going to be just... And I'm maybe next, next 10 years, we'll all be walking around naked. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that supposed to be something we should be worried about? Aren't you worried about that? I'm very worried. Um, you know, it's... As I said, there, there has to be a limit to mm -hmm. the thing. And it, as, as you rightly said, the internet has kind of opened up everything so there, there's there's no there's no, there's no filter anymore yeah. Yeah. you know it's, it's the only filter you have is on instagram and so snapchat you your home. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know because i like that your yeah. kids it's true. i have is it's on instagram true. and snapchat it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. my, it's my true. boys you know they they can be on their phone doing anything mm. and there's there's very little you know you can do to control it now yeah sort of thing you know, before I remember those days, if, if you wanted to watch something sexy, it, it was printed in a magazine. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you had to, you know, hide it somewhere yeah, under your exactly. bed and all that. And now it's, it's, it's everywhere, you sort of thing. And we've become um, desensitized to it. Mm -hmm. So it's, I, I think it, it's also devalued um, from a man's viewpoint what we think about women, mm. yeah. sort of thing. Now, could it also be because, you know, there's a notion that, okay, like he said, women have got, Ghanaian women, African women have got mm -hmm. nice bodies, so let's exploit that. Let's make them sex objects. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I see a lot of music, I, I'm yet to see a music video that doesn't have a female. Right, you know, right. Well, I, many of them also with females wriggling their ways, you know, twerking and showing stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. It looks like, you know, they become sex objects. That, that's the problem, and it's I, I, I blame the internet. You know everything. Uh, everything is everything, on the internet. Yeah, everything is there. But what happened yeah. to our values? Yeah, exactly. It was there before the internet. Yeah, exactly. The values were there before the internet, but yes. then the internet has just opened up a world. In fact, opened up the world to to Ghanaians. So right now we see everything. I'm, I'm very worried. Yeah. yeah. What I'm worried about is <laughs> my my sons. How are they going to think about women in general? Yeah, you sort of thing. Because if, if that is what's being pushed on them all the time, you know, what value are they going to have? You know, what to respect will exactly, they have Exactly, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's my fear. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's a concern you should be addressing. Why? Because <laughs> he, he's worried about what will happen in a few years. I mean... How it even your son will begin to see women? Oh, my son. They, they, they become sex objects. Also, mm -hmm. women. Oh, da, 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 da. and you know, amazingly, we won't see the men dra dress half naked in all these music videos. Yeah. 
there's well maybe I'm they wrong. are topless. A few. Like, well, topless. <laughs> bands, <coughs> bands, bands, yeah, exactly. Now I see them, but and they are, they are six packs that are showing <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but they don't show their yeah. their thing. But we men, they do yeah, show. They, they, they do sometimes with their see, boxes. You don't see. They wear uh, showy. <laughs> no, no, not even that. When they go to the gym, uh -huh. they wear these jogging pants. Exactly, and, and they join. The the <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Okay, Nina is taking it different. Nina is taking it different. Am I wrong? See, it's true, baby. See, the sweatpants is different. It's for exercise. But they put it in music videos sometimes. No, hold on. What I'm trying to point is, you see, um the part of uh guys taking off their tops mm -hmm. it's it's not something that is very bad. so what is that one is sex selling. it's not something that is very bad <laughs> concerning, no, that not bad. concerning um you know putting out sex as the main theme you get to when ladies take out their bras you know with bras and bikinis some of us we feel it's cool because oh it's a pool scene it's a beach scene mm -hmm. fine but that's that's the beach dress that's the pool dress but then you were talking about wiggling mm -hmm. with the beach dress. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, it's, 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 Sometimes it's, yeah. that is the opening scene. And I don't blame them too much because, you know, our beats are hyper, hi, are always hyper beats. You can't be doing de 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 and then we wearing a bikini. But why, we, can, we can't dance. We can't Let dance. They, so they can't dance. Let me tell you this. Uh -huh. this. This whole sex thing has been there from day one. Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve was brought to this world uh, naked. naked. Mm -hmm. Nobody was, everybody was naked. No, Those people, God. they did it before. <laughs> so we should all be walking up. So 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 yeah. We yeah. know that, it's just that uh, they, they showed us, uh, uh, they were co covering themselves with like yeah. leaves yeah. and yeah. stuff yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. that time. So now we've created our own leaves with cloth. <laughs> okay. But we should remember, say, I'm buy a crown for the West. They were naked. So Even when we are born, yes. Yes. so we're yes. naked. naked. I'm not saying naked, but I'm just saying the whole thing is like, we can't change it. It's something, it will be there forever and ever. Amen. Do you think I can't? <laughs> no, forever and ever, amen. But David, mm -hmm. as someone who is concerned, you know, do you think it's something we should start censoring? I'm worried about, uh, I see music videos with no, oh. you know, um, guidance. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's yeah. no rating. Yeah. 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 And they say their music video. I I, yeah. I went for a press conference. I asked somebody about their music video, where I thought mm -hmm. was supposed to be rated 18. Right. Yeah. They said, oh, but what's the hypocrisy about? We see it all over. So it means that very soon, yeah. just like Lord Paper did, mm -hmm. and I'm just using him as an example, <laughs> we will see people do extreme stuff. Yeah. Maybe Nina, Nina, the way you're smiling, <laughs> extreme <laughs> stuff, all in the name of music videos. You know, I think we've gone peer, past that stage of uh, rating of, of uh, censoring mm. because the internet is there and if I <laughs> if I create uh, a music video that could even be considered soft porn mm -hmm. I can just put it straight mm. onto YouTube and um, you know Facebook and Instagram so and you know and if so if on TV it's being censored then everybody's just gonna look for the YouTube version exactly. so, so we are doomed then Unfortunately, I don't. I don't know how. But it's not how only we women. I just want to clarify. Yeah. You know, no. Men too. When you yeah, guys yeah. wear have muscles and abs and all these things, I mean, girls think that it's sexy. It's sexy, yeah. And we get also aroused too. Don't get it twisted. Wow. Don't get it twisted. Straight up. Well, <laughs> don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> we like yeah. it. So that be sex selling as well. So <laughs> yeah, let me explain something. Uh -huh. Let me explain something. I'm actually going to stand for the men. <laughs> what, 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 let me, okay, let's hear you. Let me, let me explain something. Mm -hmm. You see, um, I was I was making a point that uh, uh, there's there's this sorry there's this Ashanti thing mm -hmm. that Oba Kata mm -hmm. But why does it have to be a woman? No, no, no. I'm just saying that Akatisia, women are created differently. Very beautiful. Very, you know. Yeah. 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 I'm only saying that I'm only saying that it is good for us to imagine whatever it is that you want to show us because mm. trust me if if you you show a guy everything then he asks what next mm -hmm. and it's natural not just guys mm -hmm. human beings mm -hmm. when we see one we want to see two mm -hmm. When we are done seeing two, even though we have one, we won't see three. Mm -hmm. You get it. Yeah, yeah. So in that same way, we can find a very good way to be edgy, to be sexy, but then to also be covered. I, I believe that. I believe, and it's just me, my little notion. I believe that. 
are you sure you're on TV? You're saying all that, or oh, yes. <laughs> actually, no? Let's, let, let me like, let me let me, like, me like, let me be honest with you. Let me be honest with you. Let me be honest with you. I am not that old, mm -hmm. but when I was younger than I am right now, mm -hmm. so I used to watch. Come with age. Is that what you're saying? Well, you're I saying I I'm saying age. that um, maturity might not be age, but okay. we have to get to a matured point that we we'll find good ways to do things. There are very it's time. Are, yeah, there are very good ways to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And um, I know it will take some time. Cool. Uh, we can't really, like uh, David said, we can't really censor everything. Mm -hmm. But we can find good ways to put it out. Yeah. You get it? We can find good ways. There are, you know, even bikinis. There are bikinis that are very sexy, but still covered. You get it? I don't know one, but okay. mm. there's no bikini that is here, my brother. <laughs> no, 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 I know it's <laughs> no. There are shorts. There are shorts that are you know. But, uh, covered is covered is relative, actually. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Because definitely. what you think is covered, she might think is I'm not. Covered. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, and yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you think is uncovered, she might think like it's she's covered. sitting here. She's yeah. saying she's well dressed. I'm well dressed. It's true. You know. Oh, oh, yeah. And somebody yes, cool. will say, "Oh no, this is not appropriate." You know. And so, yeah. My road manager has been looking away. Yeah. He's been enjoying. <laughs> but it means that we cannot have people to crusade against this. Okay, you look like the only one who is advocating. No. David says, okay, we are done. My, but <laughs> my point my point was... Hey, they say you are worse. You did. I said, if you say you are worse. Okay. Have you seen this video, did they? Oh, no. I will check it. Uh -huh. no, was see, it was, are you hearing? Are you hearing? Are you hearing? Are you hearing? It was a nice. It was a. Kiss. See, see it was what a, practice was just was a, you see, okay, you okay. So, my point is. Were you not in the window? Have you seen the video uh, back to uh, back? Uh, That's so what she's criticizing me. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm I'm only saying that there's a way to be edgy. There's a good way to be edgy. But you didn't do that in your video. Oh yeah, it was edgy. It was, it was, but it was not a good way for you. Oh, you it was know. a very good way. Uh, are you we were sure? wearing clothes, you know, like heavy clothes. And I watched the Stephanie. video. Don't come here and come and please watch the video. Oh, okay. Okay. Play some smoke. He's the way you can talk about this boy. Hey, you see. Nina is now. Okay. But but it looks like you're the only one uh, who feels like okay, there's a way to go about. So yes, yeah, to some extent, David also said that. But the ladies don't think that you know uh, we should start crusading yeah. against you know things like that. Yeah. That so that we can safeguard our future. You know, protect the people who come after us keep some sanity mm, of course but yeah. i feel like the men the same thing you guys should be covered too because so when they see, start getting covered you also get covered i would exactly I if i see a man walking if my husband is walking with his shirt topless mm. and you know no no shirt and he has muscles no 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 you can't you, see, it, you understand because the next moment we'll be like mm -hmm. oh my this guy looks sexy and then and then cheating will start and then i'm in trouble yeah but there's a, there's a way to handle it you know, yeah you can be you see you can be half naked mm -hmm. but it's about what you do when you're half naked you know if yeah. if you're half naked and you're dipping cherries you know which have two cherries and, and you're you're dipping it in cream and then mm -hmm. putting it in your mouth you know that that's that's yeah. saying a completely different thing yeah. to mm -hmm. being in a bikini and stepping out of a swimming pool you see the thing. So of things. You, you, you have to be there's some careful. Truth in that. Yeah, you know, exactly. it, it, there's nothing wrong with showing your body. I mean, God has given you, God has given both of you wonderful, sexy, sexy. People. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 How professional? And this is we are getting close to the end of this. Yeah. How professional are professionals? Because before you even go on to. Sometimes people write our lyrics for us. Yeah. Sometimes people write the scripts for the videos yeah. for us. Yeah. People write the movies that we get to watch and all that. So people create these things. How professional are they in their creation? Whilst they create so that we don't get to a point where, you know, I saw a music video where that because they didn't want the tits to show, they use, you know... A star or something like that. Yeah, I think you've seen, seen that video. Yeah, you know what video. I'm talking about. I watched it twice. You watch it twice. Okay, and send me the link because I don't know. The oh, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> And and they are talking. You know, you know. Apart from the video, even the song gives you ideas yeah, already. Mm -hmm, yeah. You know, I'm not sure when Daddy Luma did Abin Waha. Yeah. He did things that you know took our attention. Yeah. yeah. To uh -huh. at least he didn't put any lady lying down with plaster yeah, or whatever on their teeth. But no, still, his videos were kind of. That time it was like whoa. So and David mm -hmm. mentioned that you know back in the day it was there, but it was well but, tastefully done. But still, done. Yeah. that Luba has some shaking but but talks in there. It's like oh hey, yeah, that he, he did Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't care at all. So it'd be but, like. But now we we have we have gone out of bounds. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. for instance, the video. Yeah, but then mm -hmm. 
he has started it, right? Yeah. So then obviously people were like, he's done it. So uh, let me do something exactly. else. Exactly. You understand? So someone would do something extra just to be like Dad Lumba, but he mm. doesn't want to be like Dad Lumba. So mm. that's why some people will do, will go on, um, will go um, extra true. mile to do exactly. And that's what, that's where we um, get it wrong. Means. That's where yeah. we get it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, doing doing it better doesn't mean just going overboard. You see, I, I like the part that you said our music videos are now not being rated. And no. then we're showing everything, everything there. My point is, my point is, we can show a very beautiful music video, but find a good way to style it or design it. Um, I think I listened to um, one of your interviews where yeah. you spoke about fashion, entertainment, fashion, music, and you put them all together. And when I was at the back, my notion was that why don't we allow them to work together? The fashion designers would costume for the music videos. They would help sell their products. Mm -hmm. Then we can streamline the kind of, because if we buy stuff from outside, we'll get the bikini, the small ones, <laughs> and we'll get the plastic. So, yes, but if we find a way to work together, uh, the movie we industry. We can make them the same way. Yes, we can, we can make them the same way, I understand. But then because of whatever culture we think we have or we feel we have to live to, we can streamline some of these things and help our music videos grow. I feel the young ones are learning too much from the internet that they are not learning from the old ones. They are not learning from us. Yeah. Well, but who would that be then? I, 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 I will run to find out <laughs> finally from you guys whether you think that if, and I asked you that already, so I'm not sure I will ask you, um, if we don't have sex undertones in our lyrics, mm -hmm. in our music, in our movies, in showbiz, you think we will not sell? I don't know. I mean, there's some songs that, you know, like even gospel songs, you know, we listen and we're like, oh, wow. It, it has nothing to do with any of those things, right? And you still would buy it. So mm -hmm. I think it depends on well, you kind of, kind of and the level that. it is. Mm -hmm. in yeah. Even your, in the taste, level you are on as taste, well. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure if like Shatawale was to release some gospel song, it would be like, yo, I like this track. Exactly. It's who you are, really. You know? So we will still sell without sex? I can, yeah, possibly, if, you, if it's who you are, yeah. We'll yeah, I think we sex. can, because let me use an example like um, this guy, Susuka uh, Kenata. Mm -hmm. That song has nothing to do with sex. Even CCTV. Even CCTV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm using Susuka because that time it won the best song, best lyrics. And when you look best at the song video, writer. best songwriter, mm -hmm. when you look at the video, Kriana, it was it was giving a lot of information out without any nudity and it was one of the best. And I think that it can definitely sell because there are a lot of artists who sing without, I would in quote, sex uh, lyrics and they are still making it. So I feel it would sell, but we should find a good way to blend the two. You can never take it away. Just if, yeah. Yeah. One way is always boring, so you just mix it up. That's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah. So one, exactly. one, one day you sing gospel, and then we see you by the yeah. church. You just by mix it the, up. Yeah. And then another day, you say BMU, then. Yeah. You know this is BMU? No, 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 BMU. If you keep doing that same way, like let's say if Kim, um, Kim Promise was doing CCTV, mm -hmm. the same. I mean, the same kind of um, song, song and the same kind of video, he will get boring. Will get boring. Yeah. So obviously yeah. you can't just do one way, you have to mix it, spice up. it up. Yeah. But do you think mm. people, people get excited when one day, for instance, Daddy Lumba mm -hmm. went to do gospel, his back cycle. Do, do people take that as creativity or they see you as, you know, an, an serious musician, for lack of a better well, word? You know, people, want, they want to pigeonhole you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see the thing. And don't forget, as a, as a musician, you have different different emotions, different times in your life. So sometimes yeah. you're feeling very spiritual and you want to praise your Lord. Yeah. Other times you're feeling very yeah. sexy, sexy and you want to sing yeah. or, or you're you feeling very romantic, you know. Yeah. So I think we should allow the musicians to express themselves. themselves. Yeah. It's up to us to listen to it or not. <laughs> it's it's exactly. not by force. And it's up to you as a parent to yeah. restrict your kids from exactly. so watching from some exactly. stuff. But yeah. if it's not rated, how will I even know that what's coming up is not going you to be You should know because you're... By the time the child starts watching, I'm like, ah, close your eyes, you know. Maybe we should put the rating into consideration. Exactly. I, know. I think the rating, even though you think yeah. that we are past censorship, but I think mm -hmm. that the rating... I the rating is good, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. It's very important. What, Nina, what education do you think that these put out there? Do you think that there's anything to you know, imbibe? Do you think there's anything to learn from all these X-rated? I mean, I think it's mainly parenting skills, I think. It's not really for, you know the kids really I think it's the parents this will educate the parents to do whatever they need to do to protect their child from you know 
And basically, I also think it's self-confidence. Some people want to show, but then because they are maybe, let's say, let's say 20 years ago, you, you yeah. want to be explosive, right? You wouldn't be able to do it, but in you is something you want to do. So, and then, and because of the way the culture is, you are being restricted from doing that. Yeah. So I, I think self-confidence too is part of it. But if so, your culture doesn't allow you, why do you want to? Oh, come on. That's who you are. Come on. Your culture is not you. Deep really? Down. No, the, the culture is not you. Yeah. Nah. The people you, are, you culture. are you No, you come to, let's say, I'm in Ghana right now, and I know this is our, our culture, right? But deep down, my person is a baby. But this culture thing is... I say, I say, but Charlie, we have a share in you. Do you understand? So I, 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 I think also react to that. I was say you can do those things behind closed doors in your bedroom. Yeah, but it doesn't no, no, have no, no, to be. No. It have I'm to be talking shown as a there. musician. Mm -hmm. I'm talking as a musician. Right. I'm not right. talking oh. as someone just at home. But the culture yeah. should restrict you even as a musician. Mm. Mm. You don't have to. The only way we can do this right now is that if we have a proper organization that would say that, okay, some of these videos should be rated this way and then they will be sh they should be shown but nobody time. respects sorry yes. nobody respects the censorship board nobody Very takes good. the and i think the yeah. i think that is where and these days you know all you need to do is to pay for your music video to be aired and yeah. it will be aired mm -hmm. nobody even in will say okay bring let's watch it is it good for morning or afternoon mm -hmm. or evening or all that yeah. you know mm -hmm. nobody it's true even. we have prime times we have mm -hmm. you see i i believe that the 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 way we put we put seriousness to let's say news we should put the same thing to music, the same thing to discussion and everything. On TV, there are times for every particular well, program. Very good. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we, we have to start from cool. somewhere. We have to start from somewhere. And we, I, I can say that the media would have to help when it comes to some of these things. Showing some of these videos at some particular time just to make sure that they keep the kids from uh, not no, from mm, saying that. Well, head. that we do. I, I remember when I showed Nina's story on on Joy News. Israelia was like, <laughs> yeah. kids are watching and all yeah. that and all that. When you showed your boobs to, to us and all that. But, but that was I didn't see that video. Did I want to oh, see. Oh, you want to see? Oh, the, the interview. <laughs> the interview just at the Afrimas. You know, oh. yeah. And okay. I was like, no, no kids are watching. But you know, I, I'm sure people who are watching video. want me to ask you: Are these real? It's it's all my baby. <laughs> you know why? You know why people keep asking oh that? So what happened to you here? This is a tattoo. Like exactly. I don't oh, want to show it. It's a tattoo. It's a tattoo. It, looks, it looks like you know some. I have, I have so yeah, many tattoos. Mark, so people like think that. that's where they put the thing. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. and then, There's a know. story behind this tattoo. Oh, so. there's stories behind them. Yeah. Maybe wild stories. Wild yeah. stories. Yeah. 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 I look yeah. for time to have a conversation <laughs> with Nina. But thanks to Sister Fia, Creamy, Nina, and David for coming through the G Sport. Thank you also for watching. Have a great Christmas. We love you. Let's see. A Christmas carol to them. What was our favorite? What's your favorite? We wish you. Oh, that's a so cliche. <laughs> okay. We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, that's all we got. <laughs> oh, so what's the second standard? Merry Money by Yes. Good tidings we bring and to you and your <laughs> I wish you a Merry Christmas <laughs> and a Happy New Year.